Hello, and welcome to a new Let's Play. It's Nancy Drew, the Deadly Device. Um, I have played a tiny bit of this before, but trust me, I do not remember at all what was going on. Um, I decided I'm going to do Master Sleuth with uh, no hints. So uh, this will probably be a long Let's Play, and uh, yeah. Alright, let's talk to the beginning. Well, you know, it's never a good idea to just, oh. That was a very happy beginning right there, wasn't it? Oh yes, yes it was. What? Yes, yes, I will. I'll have Ellie set up a demo for you. But that's if the equipment in this lab is extremely dangerous. Got it. Approach the case how you want. But I think I'm Nancy Drew. Who does it what does it matter? The police really thought she might be tied to Joe's murder. They just couldn't prove it. She built the machine that killed him, and supposedly she threatened him. Start there. I've got to leave the office. If you need me, I'll be on my phone. Good luck. Stay safe. And please, help me do right by Nico. He was a brilliant scientist and a good man. Am I the only one thinking Grand Theft Auto here? Or is that just me? Well, hold on. I'm going to turn down the music a little bit because it is a bit loud. Alrighty. Now then. Resume my game. Nico. Well, let's look around here. What is this thing? What is this thing? Whoa! Oh, it's a dancing pigeon. A dancing. Okay, I've officially seen everything. This must be the door where Victor put the case file. All right. One seven one nine four three. Ha ha! Case file. Nancy, here are the notes from the police investigation. Keep the contents of the file to yourself and do not remove it from Nico's office. If anyone should discover the file on you, your cover will be blown. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, Ryan is kind of cute. Hold on. Let's see. I need to find a way to fix this. So we need to fix that. And it looks like Oh it look. Opening mechanism. I want is am I the only one who would love it if they sold Nancy Drew candy in like stores and stuff? That would be amazing. I want that to happen. That would be locked. Anything over here? Nope. Let's go, um, let's go this way. Um, let's look around first. Periodic table! Actually just finished the chemistry test today. I'm like so not ready to stare at a periodic table again. Just now. Um, let's see. I'm assuming that's where we're gonna be living. Let's see now, there's another floor. 
Oh, look, it's like the elevator from, um, what was that game called? Okay, if anyone, like, thinks they might know what elevator I'm talking about, leave it in the comments below. Thank you ever so kindly. Let's see now. What are you doing? Alright, so I'm assuming he's in here. If it looks like I'm busy, that means I'm busy. No, it looks like you're what bitchy. You I'm busy complicated. complicated. Get a postgrad in advanced math and electrical engineering, then I'll explain it to you. Wow. Okay, I'm not retarded, sir. You're talking about electricity. A Tesla coil. In your face! Wow. Wow. Wrong. No, that's correct. No, I mean wrong answer for me. Not the answer I wanted to hear. Let's go with the first question. Why Ryan would want to hurt Nico? The police already asked the same thing. Well, what did you tell them? I said if I were to have killed Nico, it'd be because he stole my work. Wow. Hold on. It's just a for instance. Is it? Really? I think logically. I force myself to think from A to B to C and so on. Am I allowed to just say he's the one who killed Nico so I can just see him thrown in jail? He's so annoying. I just want to pop him in the face. Non sequitur. I'm definitely going to have to look that up in a dictionary later. Did you work directly with Nico? No one worked with Nico. We barely spoke to each other. That's the way he liked. Well, Nico was 61. Again, was 61. Is anyone else noticing, like, the OCD-ness and then, like, the two cars on the shelf for no particular reason? Remember about the day Nico died. I feel like he doesn't feel sympathy for the dead man. The police. It was weird. One of us killed Nico and here they were, talking about a basketball game. Like it was any other day. The look on his face when he said basketball game. Not a basketball fan, I'm assuming. It's just an expression. It's not an expression I'm aware of. Don't be contrarian. It doesn't suit you. You barely know me. He kind of reminds me of like the kind of a guy who would date a woman and then have an affair with a man. Just a thought. Because Ryan is hot? Maybe? That you also know how to work, more than likely. Very much. Would you go as far as to say you hated Nico? I would go that far and further. That guy was a jerk. I just want to reach over and mess up his desk. Disrespectful, considering. Does it? Am I supposed to pretend he's great now that he's dead? Lots of jerks have died. One of them. He's a dead, brilliant jerk madman. The world would be much better off. Share more of his intellect, but I selfishly am glad I'll never have to deal with him again. It seems strange to me that you could be so. Well, it doesn't seem strange to me, and I don't understand why it seems strange to Nancy, considering what she's covered as a detective. I will definitely have to play more Nancy Drew games to show you people what it's like to be an Nancy Drew. Now, meanwhile. I just want to pop him in the face. People don't know this, but the majority of Tesla's work was confiscated by the FBI. Can you prove it? Why? Could be he was designing weapons. Could be 
think he had a breakthrough that threatened the energy magnates? Don't know. It's all been hidden. What matters is there's a little bit still here. God, he's like one of those people who's just he feel he, it feels very paranoid to me. He feels like a murderer. Okay, I seriously just want to see this man thrown in jail. You said you were searching for Nico's work. Did you ever look in I want to meet Ryan, but I also want to finish this up because I don't want to like deal with him later. Bye. Hallelujah. I don't have to talk to him. Time to go see about the other rooms on this level. Well, that's that's a nice thing to see. Let's see, what's this? 15 things you never knew about electricity. The first electrical lighthouse was the Statue of Liberty. I knew that. The, an electric eel can produce a 650 volt shock. Jeez. The largest electrical blackout to date cut the power to over 6 million people in India in 2012. You can light up a burnt out fluorescent bulb in your hand using a Tesla coil. I would be kind of scared to do that. Maybe it's just because I'm a big chicken. Um, lightning can carry up to 1 billion volts. Ow. The phenomenon called St. Elmo's Fire is actually luminous plasma around a grounded object that is an electrical field. Voltage doesn't kill people. Current kills people. Currents as low as 60 millim per millimeter can be lethal. See, this is why I'm not an electrical engineer. The lightning rod was invented by Benjamin Franklin. I knew that. Who doesn't know that? Okay. Not to be rude, but if you don't know that, you've never picked up a book. Um, let's see, where was I? Fireflies are 90% more efficient at producing light than incandescent bulbs, which is why children keep them in jars next to their bed when they go to... What was that? Did anyone else jump? I jumped. Silver is the best metal for conducting electricity, followed by copper, then gold. Is that why they're in, like, the same area on the periodic table? If anyone knows, can that you tell me? Humphrey Davy invented the, an electric light bulb in 1802, more than 70 years before the Edison bulb. Well, see, we have been messing with electricity for a while, I'm pretty sure. The first electric car was built in 1828. Electric, uh, static electricity was first described in the 6th century BCE by Thales of Miletus. I'll have to look him up. Got an adapter, there are 12 different standard outlet plugs around the world, and they all look like they're smiling. I've actually seen a picture of all of them. Nikola Tesla did the longest ever man-made lightning bolt, at a record 130 feet. I wonder if we could beat that now. Seven ways to be energy efficient. I want you all to take notes. Replace standard light bulbs with, compl with compact fluorescents. I actually kind of think that's law here now in America, or at least here in Memphis. Stop the electronic vampires. Unplug electronics when they're not in use. Good lord, what is that noise? Dry your clothes the old-fashioned way on a clothesline. I wish I could do that, but I can't. Use a pro programmable thermostat. Well, see, I live with my parents, so I can't exactly make that. Keep it clean. Replace cooling and heating system filters yearly. God, that noise. Know what you want before you open the fridge and turn the lights off when you leave a room. Good. Now then... Uh-oh. Oh, sh whoa. I'm so sorry. This must be Ryan. This must be Ryan. She, is this anyone else, is anyone else reminded of Rainbow Dash? She kind of reminds me of Rainbow Dash. She's very lanky. She doesn't have big boobs. She's so cute. Am I really hitting on a freaking 3D animation character? Wow, well, okay. No. What do you do at the lab? Aw. Do you want a hug, Ryan? Ryan? Want a hug? I'll give you a hug. Do you want a hug? So I'm going to finish up this conversation with Ryan, and then I'm going to end the episode. Possibly. Maybe. No. Getting a new girlfriend, maybe. God, I am lonely.
I think she's hitting at somebody used her Tesla coil to kill Nico. I want to cuddle her in the face. She looks like a sad person. Oh, okay. So this is the end of our conversation. This is also the end of the video.